Hey everyone, Aninda here and on this video I'll be showing you how to root your Google Nexus 5 running on the stock ROM Android 6.0.1 and this is the marshmallow. Let me show you, I've already rooted my phone. So this is the super user and let me just show you the root checker. Right, so I'll show you how to root your phone, the Google Nexus 5. Okay, so here goes. Alright, so first things first, you need a Nexus 5 which, uh, whose bootloader is unlocked. So you need a bootloader unlocked Nexus 5. I have a separate video showing how to unlock the bootloader. You can uh, look through that video. Next, you need to have a Nexus 5 which is running on Android 6.0 Marshmallow or 6.0.1. And you need a USB cable as well. So first, you need to go to this about phone option tap the build number seven times and you will see that there is a new option on the settings panel which is the developer option over here we need to turn on this usb debugging mode at first it will be turned off so you need to turn on this usb debugging mode after that i believe that you have already unlocked the bootloader next you want to do is power off this phone and connect the USB cable onto your laptop. Next, you need to download some applications in order to root your phone. First, you need to download this super user. So over here, download this version, which is 2.6.6. And to click over here, and it will open up a new page. I will actually provide this uh, this link on the video description. So you need to download this, uh, you need to download this beta, okay? Download this. So after you download this, I'll let you know what you need to do and you need to download this TWRP for Nexus 5 also so I'll give the link on the video description you need to click this file primary recommended after you need to download the top file over here I'll actually give the link uh, I'll actually give this link also okay you need to download both of this file first is this TWRP and next is this file after you have downloaded this file, you need to download this Google USB driver also. Without this, your phone won't be detected on the uh, on this fast boot. And last but not the least, you need to download a fast boot folder zip. I'll give the link on the video description. So once you download that fast boot folder, you'll get this folder. See over here, this is the folder. And on this folder, you will get this files except for this TWRP file. So once you download that TWRV file, which I just showed you, you uh, it will um, it will actually go to your download section. You need to copy that TWRP file onto this ADB fastboot folder, which uh, whose link I will give you on the video description. So you need to download this ADB and fastboot um, link and unzip it. It will be in, in on zip format. You need to unzip it, and you will get this folder. And on this folder, you need to paste the TWRP IMG recovery file. At first, the name will be TWRP Hammerhead. You need to rename it. You need to hit this rename and write TWRP Nexus or TWRP anything. You need to write anything over here. So uh, I have written TWRP Nexus. And you need to download the USB driver. So this is the USB driver folder. This at the bottom over here, as you can see and once you connect your phone it won't be detected uh, so let me just show you what we need to do right now so this is the phone you need to press the power button and the volume button volume down at the same time so volume down and press the power and hold it you will get this this uh, option which is this fast boot mode so once you are in fast boot mode all right now you need to connect the USB cable so I've connected the USB cable and we need to keep it at the side all right now you need to flash in the all right now you need to flash in the recovery file so in order to flash the recovery file you need to place the recovery image on this folder I have renamed the file as TWRP Nexus and you also need to install the USB driver so installing the usb driver is very simple just you need to go to the device manager so let me just show you just need to go to the device manager and over here you will see that android phone 
uh, it will be over here it will be a yellow exclamation sign so you need to just do a right click and select update uh, update driver and to browse browse to that uh, this this folder which is a USB driver so I have already uh, selected this file and you need to click on OK after click just click on next and it will automatically install it after that you need to do a right click over here and run as administrator over here you need to type fast boot space devices and we will hit enter and you will get some code over here this is a bootloader code which means that the device is connected and over here you need to write fast boot space flash recovery space this name this is the name twrp slash nexus you need to write the same name over here twrp nexus give a dot and img and hit enter it will start writing the recovery file and after that you need to go to your phone so this is now you need to select using this volume keys and select recovery mode I need to wait so you will get this TWRP and if you don't see the TWRP and it's rebooting to your desktop screen or your home screen or uh, you see it's just rebooting to your home screen and nothing else or you need to just power off your phone you need to go to the fast boot mode once again just go to from there you need to select the recovery mode and if you see that on over there you see that there is a error message which is no command that means you need to flash the recovery this TWRP recovery uh, using the first boot once again so just write the same code which is uh, connect the phone use, using the USB cable and uh, do a check using this uh, fast boot devices command it will show this code over here your code uh, will be different as there's a all different bootloader all, all together so you need to use you need to flash the reco uh, this recovery once again so just hit enter and once you hit enter it will flash the recovery once again and that's it after you install the recovery twice as uh, I need to install this I have to I had to let me tell you guys I had to install this recovery twice in order to get the this recovery on my phone so all the best and it should work okay and after installing the recovery you have to and after ins installing the recovery twice you can uh, go to the recovery mode I'm sure just uh, use the power this volume keys but let me show you so after installing the recovery twice uh, and then you need to press this volume keys and go to the recovery mode it should boot into the recovery mode by then and after that just go to the recovery mode after that you need to install the super let me tell you the link I will give on the video description which will be the super user link you need to download that super user and you should copy it onto your phone okay you should copy see just in front of you only I have selected the recovery mode and it booted to this home screen all right so once you are in the T TWRP recovery mode you need to select this install over here and I've already pasted the super users 2.6 over here so you need to copy it and paste it on your phone before starting the recovery installation process okay so you'll select this option swipe to confirm flash after that it will give you after the flashing is done it will give you this option so you will get this option okay which is install super ASU you have already f I and this option will see after installing the super user 2.66 so at this point you need to select do not install okay if you select swipe to confirm installation then it will not root your phone okay so you need to select that do not install and it will reboot your phone once or twice don't worry once you are on the home screen you will get the super user icon it will be installed over there and just download the 
root checker application and it should be rooted by then okay so that's it for this video guys showing you how to root your nexus 5 in a very simple way so thank you for watching this video if you have any query regarding this video if you are unable to root your phone or if you're having any trouble uh, while installation just give me a buzz on the comments okay i'll be there to reply and let's just see see over here it says that the device has root access so thank you for watching this video if you like this video then hit the like button and thanks for watching this is on in the tech care